Coach, I know you mentioned earlier already about Wesley Matthews, but I just wanted to bring him up specifically for his defense and just how you kind of saw him setting the tone, especially there defending Tatum on those occasions. You know, this is, you know, this is kind of what Wes and I talked about um, in the summer is that there's going to be opportunities. He's played, frankly, more than I think he probably thought or I thought because we've had injuries. Um, but this is the type of game that, that he thrives in. Um, you know, his physicality, but just his toughness and his mental toughness. And, you know, I think that, you know, that, that's, that has an effect on other players as well. It just kind of takes everybody's level up when you, when you see that. Compared to 12 months ago, what, what has Veet done to become an NBA defender? Yeah, I mean, I, I think for one thing, he's made it important. Um, I, I think the time that, that he spent in College Park, frankly, and the work that, you know, they do down there. And it's been a huge point of emphasis for our group, for, you know, Kyle, um, you know, and Ryan, those two guys in particular, you know, we want that to be kind of a defensive incubator. And uh, I don't think, you know, a lot of those habits and really as much as anything, that emphasis, um, you know, he, he started picking up full court on his own. We were like, keep doing that. Um, but he's, he's moving his feet really well, and then his length and his size becomes impactful. Um, you know, even tonight, he was in front of people. He just sometimes was getting knocked off. We fouled a couple times, but those are tough matchups. So I think as much as anything, it's something that, that he's embraced and taken pride in. And, you know, we always say it, you know, if you defend, you can get on the court. And it's because it's true. You know, and you know he saw a pathway there. Coach, what's been the change with this team mentally? Because it seems that they're playing with a whole lot more confidence uh, since all these injuries have come about. Yeah, you know, I, I, we've been putting time in. You know, I, I think even on the road, you know, there was opportunities where we practiced, and our guys have been working. You know, on little things. You know, that don't always translate to the game, but we've been able to. You know, to take some of that to the game and, you know, trying to continue to build habits. Um, but our guys have made those things important, whether it's something, the simplest things. You know, I thought we're running harder. You know, we're not getting caught in purgatory defensively in transition defense. And guys are, I mean, I guess the biggest thing to me is, you know, guys are focused on helping each other, you know, and what can I do for my teammate? And, you know, that's. When you put your mind there and you're thinking about someone else and how you can help them, whatever that, whatever that means, I mean, setting the screen, blocking out, running back, you know, spacing, passing, all those things, it manifests itself a lot of ways. When, when Clint gets that offensive rebound with 11 mm -hmm. seconds left, are you hoping that that ball doesn't go up? Or what's your reaction when you see the shot go? I think it was an instinctive shot, you know, and I've been telling Hunt to hunt threes for a while and he's done that you know so I, I think you know he didn't hesitate he shot the ball with confidence and you know I have confidence in him mm -hmm. it was a heck of a rebound and Clint had his eyes out and um, he really th there wasn't any hesitation you know in my mind and I think that's why he made it because he shot it with confidence thanks coach okay